Tip number one, skip boring YouTube intros by pressing one, two or three on your keyboard. Pressing one skips to 10% of the video, two, 20%, three, 30%, all the way to nine to get to 90% of the video. Pressing zero brings you back to the start. If you don't want to sit through useless introductions on video tutorials or instructional videos, then this is a useful tip. Speaking of skipping useless intros, as an additional side tip, if you watch Netflix on a computer, you can skip the intro by hitting S. Tip 2. Learn faster by increasing playback speed. While we're on the subject of YouTube, you already know you can pause the video by pressing the space bar and if you hold it down you can play it in slow motion. But you can also change the playback speed by clicking the settings icon and choosing a faster or slower speed. If you like watching tutorials, you can learn the same things faster by playing the videos faster depending on the pace of the speaker. Another side note slash bonus tip, you can also do this on Udemy and other online learning platforms and it helps you get through the courses a lot quicker. Tip 3. View videos picture in picture on Chrome. If you're watching YouTube on Google Chrome, just right click any video twice and click picture in picture. The video will appear minimized on the bottom right hand corner. You can resize it or reposition it around the screen with the browser still open and clicking X will close it. This trick is useful if you're studying or working and watching YouTube videos at the same time. Tip 4. Remove pop-up overlays. You know those annoying pop-ups that ask you to sign into websites to see content or agree to their cookies if you're in Europe? These can be closed by right clicking on the pop-up, click inspect or inspect element to display the developer tools press delete, then refresh the page and it should be gone. If this doesn't work, there are multiple plugins that can help you to do this. Behind the overlay or pop-up blocker are two examples, but there will be different plugins available on various browsers to achieve the same thing. Tip five, see hidden passwords in browsers. If you have saved passwords in your browser, but forgot what they are, you can easily find out by right clicking on the password field and clicking inspect. It might say inspect element. A window will pop up showing the developer tools and browser console. Look for the line that says input type equals password. It should already be highlighted. Double click the word password and change it to text. Press enter to save and there you go. The password will now be revealed. In Firefox, the process is the same. Tip six, check if your email has been compromised. Go to haveibeenpwned.com and enter your email address to see if the email address has been exposed in a data breach. This website will tell you if the email is out there. If it is, I suggest you change the password for that particular service. In this example, the email address has been leaked on 144 breached websites. You will be able to see a list of the sites when you scroll down. If I try this random email address, you should see a green message saying that there are no breached accounts. If you reuse passwords, then change all instances of that password. On that note, you can also check to see if your password has been exposed in the data breach on the same site. Just click on passwords in the top menu and type it in. I typed in the word password to see what would happen and as you can see, it has been seen over 3 million times and should never be used. A randomly typed long password comes up clean. Bonus tip, you might want to use a password manager for super strong passwords that you don't have to remember. Tip 7. Create throwaway email accounts for one-off signups. 10 Minute Mail is an online service that creates a free, temporary, anonymous email. You can use this email to sign up for sites that require validation emails or when you need to enter an email address to download something. This is what the email address looks like. You will receive all email replies below the green bar for the next 10 minutes before it gets deleted. Pretty self-explanatory. This is useful when you don't want to expose your main personal or business email address to unknown websites who could spam you. Tip eight, find available social media or website names. Use name checker to see if your desired name is available across multiple networks. Just search for a name and it will show you if the .com is available and which networks the name is available on. If you think you found the perfect name but the handle is taken on your important networks, you can use Lean Domain Search to come up with new ideas. Just type in your chosen domain and it will offer available domain variations. 
Once you've found one you like, you can enter it back into name checkout to see if the social channels are also free. Tip 9. Tired of social media? You can easily delete social media accounts. Go to vanishlist.com to find instructions and links to delete the most popular accounts. Here are instructions for Facebook with a direct link to download your data and deactivate your account. Very useful. If you want instructions for more than just social media accounts, then visit Just Delete Me. Go to backgroundchecks.org forward slash Just Delete Me. This site includes account deletion instructions for hundreds of other popular websites that you may have accounts with. The websites in black are impossible to delete and green are easy. Tip 10. Browse the internet securely and privately using a Brave browser. If privacy is highly important to you, then the Brave browser is a good alternative to Chrome, Firefox and Safari. Brave is a privacy focused, secure and fast web browser with a built in ad blocker. It's quick and easy to download and you can easily import bookmarks and settings from other browsers. It's a free and open source browser based on the Chromium web browser. It also lets you connect to the super secure Tor network so your data will be encrypted and sent over several relays to keep your identity hidden. You can use Brave in private mode or you can access the dark web using private mode using Tor. This will be much slower but more secure. Check it out if you want private internet browsing. Tip 11. On the subject of browsers, if you accidentally close the tab, you can reopen it by using Ctrl Shift T in most browsers. Use Command Shift T if you use a Mac. This won't work in incognito mode or private browsing mode. If you close multiple tabs, it will reopen them in a reverse order. Tip 12. Use Google Chrome as your universal media player. You can play music and videos, view pictures and PDFs just by dragging the file into Chrome. No need for separate software. Tip 13. By dragging an image into the Google image search bar, Google will scour the net for the same picture or similar images. You can try it to find your doppelganger for example. You can also right click on an image and click search Google for image in the menu. Tip 14. Find an exact location for anywhere on earth using what three words. This tip could save your life. What three words will give you a three word address for anywhere in the world. They have divided the world into a grid of three by three meters. Each square is assigned a unique three word address that you can use to send to other people and they can also reference this and find your exact location. This tip could save your life. Lost in a jungle? Text someone your what three words address and they can rescue you. Car broken down on a remote road? Give the emergency services your three word address. Delivery driver can't find your home? Give them the location. Looking for friends at a festival? Same. There are many valuable uses for this service. No need for longitude and latitude. Just three words. I think it's great. There you go. 14 useful internet tips and tricks with bonus tips sprinkled throughout. If you found these tips useful and learned something new, feel free to send this to your family, friends and co-workers. Thank you if you stayed this far. If this video helped you in some way, you can help me by liking and subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.